Sheila True Love here with you yet again, and it's wonderful to be here. Uh, today's topic is going to be about cheating. I know I had uh, made a previous uh, video regarding cheating and sex. This is just going to focus on cheating. Cheating, to me, is one of the most rotten things any human can do to another person. It's just rotten. Because if you know that you want to sleep around with different people, then do you. You know, nobody's trying to rain on your parade. Just stay single. Why do you have to hurt innocent, good, decent people? It's a rotten thing to do. You have a lot of people in the world today, especially this day and age, who are into open relationships. Why don't you find somebody who's, who's, who's like that? You know what I mean? Find somebody who sees things the way you see it. You, you don't want to stay with one person. One person can't satisfy you or whatever that crazy nonsense is about. Cheating is a very hurtful thing. And I wish, I really wish that people who have cheated on their partners, I really wish that they fall deeply in love with someone, really in love with someone, and that person rips their heart out. I hope that person cheat on them every chance that they get and bring them an STD too. How about that? You know, there's no reason for cheating. You know, if you're not happy in your relationship, that's where communication comes in. Without communication, you don't even have a relationship. You know, that's a, it's just horrible. People who cheat on good people, women or men, because men have been cheated on too. You know, and I got I to gotta be fair about it. You know, it's, it's just an awful thing to do to a person who's trying to love you. And especially this day and age, this day and age... It is so hard to find quality, good people. So when you find someone who is willing to love you and care about you and have your back, I think you need to, you know, you, you, you need to hang on to that. It's so rare. I feel sorry for the generation of today. I really feel sorry for them. <clears throat> you know, cheating, it's, 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 it's. it's I think personally people who cheat are psychopathic and they are narcissistic because no human being, no real human being could do something like that to hurt someone and to sit there and say, well, I didn't uh, do it in front of their face. I did it behind their back. Like that's supposed to make it okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. If you're not happy with your partner, you let them know, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not happy. I'm just not happy. I, 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 you know, this is not going to work for me. You get your separation. You still stay faithful until that divorce is final. This day and age, divorces are so cheap. I got my divorce. Well, I, I was going for the divorce the first time. I spent five, six hundred dollars and then I put a stop to it because I wanted to do everything in my power to try to save my marriage. And it still didn't work. So I had to go back. But in total, I went to, for the people, the divorce is, what, $499, $499, and then you got to pay the court fees and all of that. In total, I spent something like $800. Well, not really, because I had that first time, but I annulled it. But I, I stopped that. But if you was to go through with your divorce, it's only, what, $800? You know, unless you got, like, property and kids involved and it may get a little more costly but it's not that expensive you know wait until your divorce I was divorcing what less than three months once I started the procedure and I saw that this is never going to get any better it's not going to get better each time I give the person a chance they just get worse and worse and more and more sneaky you know and so I proceeded with the divorce they had committed adultery and under the uh, biblical arrangement, once a person commits adultery, that's grounds for a divorce. No, I'm not willing to work with it. I'm not willing to give it another shot. No, I'm not. No, no, no. 
first because when a person cheats, you know, sex is something that's sacred. And a man's sperm, that's his most valuable asset because inside the sperm is the seed of life. And we all know that life is sacred. That's why sex is sacred. And also, when you think about the intensity of an orgasm, that's something that's spiritual. And you're going to sit here and share something that special with someone else? That's why I can't get past when someone cheats. It's a deal breaker. There's no coming back from that. And I make that clear to every man that I, I, I'm with, you know. Husband. I was married twice. <laughs> I was married twice and engaged to be married again, but I put a stop to that because, uh, uh, no, this person just wasn't, too many red lights kept coming up. So I, I, I put a stop to that. Um, my final thought in terms of cheating, it's a really low down, dirty, rotten thing to do to a person. And if you feel that you want to continue to look and lust after other people or be with other people, then you need to stay single. Even though you're committing fornication and you're still going to have to pay, at the same time, at least you're not hurting someone who's good and decent and somebody who's trying to do right by you. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted uh, to make that clear. You have a good day and don't worry about someone who cheated on you because I promise you, God is going to handle them severely. The next person that they're with, it's not going to work out. They're not going to be happy. God is going to make sure of that. Anyway, until the next time, this is Sheila True Love signing out. See you, babies.